Hey, a pleasant good afternoon, everyone. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Borek. Please subscribe up the top at the easy-to-use widget at the end or down below right now to keep the channel going and growing. I really appreciate you all. This is going to be a video on one of my other favorite players, Anze Kopitar, in the NHL, as he is still a top dog if you look at his stats in L.A. when it comes to his play. Obviously, he's the captain. He's a great leader there. Um, he's always a guy... That's up there in the Selkie. He won one as recently as uh, 17 and 18, and he was still 7th in 2019-20. And then in 2020-21, he was 12th in the Selkie as well. So he's always somewhere in that top 10 to 12 range. When you look at Anzi Kopitar, and earlier in his career, was usually in that top 5 range for the Selkie, and of course was able to capture two of those bad boys in his career. So he's been a very good player, a very good 200-foot player, his entire career, and I'm here to say he's still a very good player and a very good 200-foot player. Of course, he's not what he was years ago, the same guy and the same speed and all that chutzpah, but, but that makes sense. The dude's 34 freaking years old. You're not going to be the same dude, but we see Bergeron. We see these guys have success. Backstrom getting into his 30s now. We see these guys have success because they just think the game and they process the game so much quicker than some of the other cats, and that's what Kopitar's been on both ends the entirety of his career. Of course, this man, after having the 92-point season in the 82-game season in 17 and 18, did have the one-down year, which is why people started jumping on him because of the contract and the size of his contract when he had the 60 and 81. But then he bounced back and in less games beat his point total by two. In 70 games, he had 62 points, which is a pretty good output for 70 games. And that's the year he came seventh in the Selkie. So, of course, his defensive metrics and regular statistics were very good as well. And then 2020-21, his point total was almost a point per game. He wasn't as good overall necessarily in the defensive metrics last year, but I don't put that on Kopitar. The Kings, obviously, team as a whole took a little bit to get going and churning last year in order to get anything out of them. So I think that had a little bit to do with figuring out, and that team obviously is still rebuilding and retooling, and figuring themselves out. And then, of course, they had some success at the end of the season. So I think that more contributed to that than Kopitar. And then starting this season, his defensive stats look good. His offensive stats look great. I mean, he has eight points in three games. He has five goals and three assists this season to start. He is looking like the throwback um, Anze Kopitar and the guy that really emerged in that 18, in that 17, 18 season at 30 and had his best point season. So right now he definitely sure as hell is looking like that. But overall as a whole, whether he gets to that ridiculous, um, total that he would be on pace, obviously he's not going to keep this up, but to get to something around the nineties that he had as his career high or even break it, even if he doesn't get there, I'm here to say he's still one of the top dogs in L.A. because he's been producing the last couple years. After having a down season, you want to see how a guy, once he's in his 30s, rebounds. And that's exactly what Anze Kopitar did. He put up 62-70, and 70, 50 points in 56 games, and now he's kicking ass to start this season. So that is exactly what you want to see out of a player to Anze Kopitar's elk and a guy that's getting paid that salary since... Everybody looks at that and goes, oh my god, he's not the same guy. He had an offseason and 60 points in 81 games, and he gets paid that much money. Well, I mean, they offered him the contract. He just accepted it, so it's not like that's even on him either. But then he bounced right back from that and had two good seasons and is kicking behind this year. So I think Andre Kopitar is going to continue to have success. He's going to continue to be a guy you want to have on your fantasy team because he continues to produce, whether it's the assist whether it's being able to get some goals. And now he has help. Having Philippe Deneau on that team is the biggest benefit that he's had in years because now he doesn't have to play in every aspect of the game, which is going to make his overall game better in terms of point out, a, a, aspect as well, excuse me, and point output because he's in his 30s. Obviously, you want to be able to put him on the ice a little bit less to have the best output out of him. And that's what we're seeing early. Philippe Deneau is a godsend for that Kings team. So this has been a video on Anze Kopitar, Kopitar still being a top dog in LA, one of my favorite players to watch in the league. And he still obviously is one of them, and he's still having great keen success in this league. So good job and kudos. 
kudos to him. Subscribe up above if you enjoy the content or down below, whatever one you prefer. I appreciate you all to keep the channel going and growing. Let's go, um, Andre Kopitar. Keep your hot streak going. Love watching you. Peace out, everybody.